24F, 27M. My boyfriend doesn't protect me in public. My boyfriend and I are both night owls, and he routinely forces me to go on long walks with him at night. We live in a bigger city that is filled with homeless people who scare me, because they routinely make weird comments towards me, and sometimes they have even followed us. My boyfriend doesn't let me hold onto his arm, or even cuddle up next to him when I'm scared. He gets annoyed and tells me to, stop being pathetic, it's weird because my ex-boyfriends always made me feel protected when I was scared and he just doesn't. We both work during the day, so we don't really have time to do these walks during the day, and when I've asked him if we could find another way to exercise he gets really annoyed, and I end up feeling bad for asking. If you have any advice regarding this situation, I would love to hear it. There's no reason why you should be being forced to go on long walks at night in the first place. My boyfriend forces me. I must stop you right there. Why do you want to be with someone who actively makes fun of you when you signal? Tell them you need them or need to rely on them. Don't go. Let him be mad and figure it out. You can be just as mad for him going. This isn't about him not protecting you. It's about him being a complete dick. That is not okay whatsoever. Do not date someone who talks to you like that. He gets annoyed and tells me to stop being pathetic. This should be all that needs to be said. 23M, 23F, 18F. My fiancé gave me an ultimatum to stop providing for my dependent sister. TL, doctor. Caring for my mentally ill sister has damaged my relationship with my fiancé to the point where I am choosing, one or the other. Dot. I, 23M, have been with my girlfriend, 23F, for almost four years, and we have plans to get engaged later this year. Over the last two months, my sister, 19F, who is our roommate and unemployed, has developed severe mental health issues, seemingly out of the blue. We've helped her get set up with treatment, but it's very slow. From what I can tell, it's similar to paranoid schizophrenia, because she fabricates memories and adds paranoid aspects that are impossible. For example, she could say an employee we encounter at the grocery tells her he recognizes her because her phone camera roll has been hacked and publicly leaked. In reality, I was there during this interaction, and know that the employee never said a word to her. My sister's mental health situation has caused both my fiancé and I enough stress to be a post on its own. But this is about last night and my relationship with my fiancé. Last night, my sister came to me telling me that she needed to urgently speak to me outside, without any electronics around, part of the, the government is listening and, stuff. I always do my best to be supportive without validating her delusions. But in this instance I left my phone right inside the door just to go outside and calm her down. My fiancé was nearby, and loudly voiced that I shouldn't be going along with it, and presented an ultimatum that if I set my phone down and go outside, she will leave our relationship. For context, my fiancé has been very supportive and understanding for the last two months, since my sister's mental health issues have started. She has never presented any ultimatums to me in the past, and has never raised her voice to that extent. The process of getting my sister treatment has been long and strenuous, including waiting for hours at the ER at 3 a.m. on a work night because of my sister's suicidal sentiments. My fiancé has been by my side through all of this, and I can understand that she's at the end of her rope. I have been reassuring her that our efforts are temporary, until my sister is able to get treatment and be able to support herself. Aside from having to navigate bouts of hysterical psychosis, the financial stress has also been taking a toll on us. Since my sister is unemployed and has no savings, we have been covering her portion of the rent, food for the household, and electricity, Wi-Fi, etc. for a few months now. I took over her $356 per month car payments since I co-signed on her car. Because of her delusions, my sister is not trying to find a job and knows she can depend on us to provide for her. After my fiancé made the ultimatum, hold on to your phone or I leave, I paused and didn't know how to react. She made the decision herself to start packing her things. My sister was still urgently pleading to talk to me, so I opted to go outside with her. Of course, the usual, now this person is tracking me, they hacked into my phone camera, etc. and I had to talk her down. After a few minutes, my fiancé starts bringing her clothes and belonging to her car, getting ready to leave. I quickly finished up with my sister, and went to talk to my fiancé. I tried to express how I understand how difficult it is but it's just a slow process and not worth her leaving. She expressed how difficult the last two months have been, and how much I have been occupied and taken away by these issues. 
Personally, I feel like I have balanced things as best as the average person could, but she began screaming and nearly crying, which I had never seen her do before. She was yelling fairly unkind things about my sister and unfair things about me, which I'm sure my sister heard. She then boiled it down to one last ultimatum. One will be leaving, either her or my sister. This was last night, where I promised her I would resolve the situation today. I said I would have my sister go live with my mother, and our lives would be stable again after that. I love my fiancé very much, and really do not want to lose her, but I also am very uncomfortable and disappointed in the way she screamed and presented an ultimatum. If anybody is able to offer some advice on how to navigate any aspect of this situation, I would be grateful. I can also provide more context about anything in the comments. Thank you. Edit. I need to note that this has been a point of contention for my fiancé and I for a while, and I can absolutely understand why she would be burnt out. Even though my sister's mental health thing started two months ago, my sister has not been able to pay her share of bills since September or October. Also, I have never wanted to care for my sister endlessly, that would just enable her to continue a harmful lifestyle and drain my resources and sanity. My goal has been and is still to get her permanent psychiatric help. We are in the process of getting her professional help currently, but the appointments are too few and far between. My fiancé does deserve a lot of credit for sticking around as long as she has, and supporting me through a tough year in other ways, such as my relationship with my mother who also suffers from mental health complications. We have talked about splitting in the past, but I appreciated her willingness to stick it out longer. Edit number 2. I'm trying my best to respond to everyone's questions and feedback, but I can't be here all day. Thank you to everybody in your advice, and I'll be back to address more at a better time. As someone who works in an inpatient behavioral health setting, it feels like your sister could benefit from further inpatient care and faster, more significant med changes, rather than waiting for monthly appointments. I also worry that if your sister was primarily treated for suicidal thoughts and not necessarily her other currently presenting symptoms, her medication regimen might not be fully helpful to her right now. Honestly, most of my previous patients who have had significant psychosis or paranoia, especially the younger crew with no substance use involvement, tend to be able to stabilize pretty quickly with appropriate med changes and often maintain their stabilization through medication compliance. Where are your parents? Why are you taking on the brunt instead of her parents? What treatment is she getting? Why haven't you sold the car? 29M, 26F. My girlfriend gets mad at me for getting out of bed before she's ready. We've lived together for a year and a half and it's the same story every day. I wake up for work before her and she wants me to stay on bed longer. I think it's the cutest thing so I find a few minutes to lay back down to cuddle. When I'm off work, I wake up at 7am to work out in the home gym, and she consistently gets angry that I leave. This is less cute. She'll wake herself up, ask me why I'm leaving sit on her phone and will act passive-aggressive towards me for up to an hour. If I do my workout, eventually she talks to me. If I come and lay in bed with her, she'll ignore me until I've asked for her attention. I've asked her about it and she says she's not doing anything which makes me feel like I'm going crazy. On days she has work, I don't exist. She rushes through and might give me a kiss before she leaves, but I've never gotten upset at her over it. The dynamic is weird but this is getting pretty stressful to deal with daily because it throws off my mood as soon as I wake up. Tell her that her emotional manipulation in the mornings will either stop or the relationship will. She's downright treating you like shit. She sounds childish and controlling. I honestly wouldn't put up with that. You need to tell her. If she isn't owning up to the behavior then you could break it down for her, describe each action in detail. But I don't believe for a second that she's unaware. Sounds like she's just trying to manipulate you. Sounds like a brat and emotionally undeveloped, explaining selfish behavior. Perhaps she has problems being by herself, and you what they say, you shouldn't be in a relationship if you can't handle being by yourself first. As for the relationship, I would guess that this behavior will just feed your resentment which will build and build and affect your overall perception of her then spill over to infect other parts of the relationship. 23M, 24F, my girlfriend cheated on me three years ago. As weird as it may sound, this is really a situation I am in right now. Me and my girlfriend are together for more than five years. One friend of mine told me some accusations of my girlfriend cheating in January 2022, but had nothing to back it up with. 
since then I caught myself not being able to get rid of that weird feeling that she actually might have cheated on me. Around three days ago, I decided to go through her phone, out of the blue. I had no real reason for it at the time, but still did it. Fair enough. I found something in her chat with her female best friend. It was about when I confronted my girlfriend with the accusations my friend made, and to my surprise, they were plotting how to not admit to me that my girlfriend cheated and to keep the truth away from me. It wasn't that hard to find something to back it up after that in her chats with the guy she cheated on me with. She is still friends with him. In the past, she told me that she slept with him before we became a thing. When I found out that she cheated, I wasn't sad, not even angry. To my sincere confusion, I felt relief. She was lying to me for over three years and now I had proof. When I confronted her yesterday and I asked her about it, she still denied it. She broke down and said she was sorry only when I told her that I have proof and it might be over. She told me crying that she couldn't tell me because I would be hurt. Truth be told, I know that she knew I could leave her and that's why she didn't tell me. She didn't show any remorse during those three years. How am I supposed to believe her now? Since then, she is trying to win me back telling me not to throw away everything beautiful we've been through and I am not sure how to act. It is my first relationship and one could say my first true love and after five years, it feels really hard to let go. We are together since I was 17, I could say we grew up together. I suffer from clinical depression and she held me through my ups and downs, making it even harder. One part of me wants to be with her for some reason, but the more rational part knows that it's not possible. Because of all that, my head is a big mess right now. I don't wish this to anyone and feel sorry for everyone that had to go through something similar. Edit. I cut all ties with her. You need to break up with her. She conspired with her friends to keep this from you and still hangs out with the dude she cheated with. If she was actually remorseful, she would have cut it off with him, but she didn't. You'll never trust her again. You can forgive her, but it will never be the same man. End it and find someone who respects you, because she clearly doesn't.